Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Welcome to The Tonight Show, guys. It is a big night for NBC. It is the start of BTS week here on The Tonight Show. We have something special for you BTS fans in a couple of minutes. Uh, also a huge night for hockey. If you, if you just watched game six of the Stanley Cup playoffs, that means you're either drunk and happy or drunk and very angry. Um, <laughs> I actually watched the game through my plastic uh, face shield, so it would feel like I was really there. <laughs> yeah, tonight we got to see white guys brutally attack each other for two hours, so it was a pretty good preview of tomorrow night's debate. <laughs> Let's get to some politics. Well, guys, last night the New York Times published a bombshell report about President Trump's personal finances. Yep, somehow the Times got their hands on Trump's long-hidden tax records, and what they found was not good. Listen to this. The New York Times reports it's obtained two decades worth of President Trump's tax returns. The Times reports that the president paid no income taxes in 10 of the last 15 years. That's right. Trump has not paid income taxes in 10 of the last 15 years. Although, honestly, wouldn't it have been more shocking if Trump had paid taxes in those years? <laughs> yeah, when the news broke, Trump was furious. He was like, why did I pay taxes for those five years? Seriously, when it comes to avoiding taxes, Trump knows every loophole. For instance, on next year's taxes, he plans on claiming his coronavirus response as a total loss. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. It's a clapper. It's a clapper. Some laughs. Some claps. Uh, well, someone close to Trump must have provided the records. When asked who might have a grudge against him, Trump was like, uh, other than 65 tell-all book authors, no one comes to mind. <laughs> So Trump didn't pay any income taxes for 10 out of 15 years. Big deal. I'm, I'm sure when Trump did pay something, it was a lot. In 2016, the year Trump won the White House, he paid just $750 in income tax. $750? I, I don't know what he should have paid, but it's definitely more than an Xbox and a half. <laughs> $750, that, that's great. In, in today's money, Trump basically paid the equivalent of a 1993 Toyota Tercel. <laughs> Even people who use the free version of TurboTax are like, that can't be right. <laughs> the report also found that on top of not paying taxes, Trump wrote off a bunch of expenses that seemed kind of suspicious. The paper also accuses the president and his companies of claiming questionable deductions on some of those businesses, more than $109,000 for linens and silverware, and nearly $200,000 for landscaping. He also wrote off more than $70,000 in haircuts when he was on The Apprentice. The crazy part isn't that he spent $70,000 on his hair, it's that clearly $70,000 wasn't enough. <laughs> she went with it. 150,000 landscaping. Um, the most damaging part of the report also shows that Trump might not be the billionaire expert businessman he claims to be. The Times says documents show the president reported more than $47 million in losses in 2018 alone, and he faces a personal debt totaling $421 million, money that could come due while he's in office if he's elected to a second term. Wow. This news comes as a huge shock. I mean, all this time, I thought the guy who lost money running a casino was a financial whiz. <laughs> yep, Trump's got to pay back $421 million. In response, college kids with student loans were like, holy crap, I'm richer than the president. <laughs> Basically, this is who Trump says he is, and this is who he really is. <laughs> I guess that when you owe that kind of money, you start doing desperate things. Uh, look at what I saw today on Zillow. He's selling the White House. <laughs> I'll check it out at an open house. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. But. Since 2000, Trump's reported uh, over $300 million in losses just from his golf courses. It would have been a better investment if Trump opened up a radio shack inside a blockbuster inside a Sears. <laughs> It wasn't all bad news for Trump this weekend. On Saturday, he officially named his nominee to replace the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. It is my honor to nominate one of our nation's most brilliant and gifted legal minds to the Supreme Court. She is a woman of unparalleled achievement, towering intellect, sterling credentials, and unyielding loyalty to the Constitution, Judge Amy Coney. Barrett. 
Whew, good Lord, that took forever. Uh, by the time Trump was done with that introduction, he had to fill three more Supreme Court seats. <laughs> Seriously, the only thing Trump will drag out longer are the results of the election. <laughs> of course, the presidential election is heating up, and the first debate is tomorrow night. It'll be a little different than debates we've seen in the past. Watch this. Joe Biden and President Trump are preparing to face off for the first time. Now, this debate will be very different from debates past due to the coronavirus pandemic. Biden and Trump will not shake hands. There will be a much smaller audience, and everyone on hand will be tested for COVID-19. Yeah, the debate is almost here right now. Biden plans on throwing Trump off by walking out in a hat that says IRS. <laughs> Because of COVID, the candidates won't start the night by shaking hands. Well, partly because of COVID, but mostly because Trump just doesn't know how to shake hands. That's a fair. That's a uh, that's right, the candidates won't start the evening by shaking hands. Instead, it'll be like a wedding dance floor where Biden casts a line at Trump and then reels him in. <laughs> With the debate happening tomorrow night, both Trump and Biden have been busy preparing what they're going to say. And we actually managed to get our hands on some video of Trump's debate prep. Check this out. All right, the big debate's tomorrow, and we got to prep. We got to prep. If I blow this, there's no telling how many tens of people will change their minds about me. That's why I asked you, my loyal team of future tell-all authors, to come up with questions. So hit me. What do we got? Mr. President, first question. When will the COVID vaccine be ready? Easy. Tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely tomorrow. It's coming out immediately. And look, it's a very wonderful vaccine. Tastes great. Very delicious vaccine. Going to be grape, probably. We have our scientists working around the clock, mixing the vials and the beakers, and it's turning the liquid into different colors, just incredible. Right now it's very green and bubbly, and it unleashes smoke in the shape of a skull, so it's looking good. Next question. Mr. President, is it true that in 2016 and 17 you paid $750 in federal income taxes? Absolutely false. Excellent. Great, clear answer. I paid $350. Okay, maybe let's just skip that. Sir, what's your view on climate change? Look, I've said it before, we love the climate, the scientists, they don't even know. They don't even know. I watch WKTG, their meteorologist. He gets the climate wrong most every day. He says it's raining. There's no rain. He says it's sunny, but I look at my phone and the sun's behind a little cloud. Very sad. It's a tough thing. The climate, very tough, very tough thing. Mr. President, if you win. About, about when I win. About when I win. When you win, how exactly are you going to unite the country? I'm going to pass on that one. Okay. How will you ease racial tension? Ooh, big pass. Back to your taxes. Double dog pass. Oh, well, I think we need an answer for that. I said double dog, so legally, you have to pass. They said I can have three passes. Didn't they say that? Can we look into that? Three passes? What do you think of Biden's plan to... Look, the thing about, the thing about Biden, can I just say, the thing about Biden is that he's a nasty woman. Such a nasty woman. Sorry, you said that about Hillary. That's right. I'm bringing back all the classics. No one goes to a Counting Crows concert to hear the new stuff, folks. With me, it's Mr. Jones all night. By the way, that's where I, that's where I dropped the mic. You won't have a mic, sir. Well, I'll, I'll drop this one then. Not that kind of mic. We can't hear you now, sir. Hello? Sir, civil unrest is widespread across the country. Yes, it's very unrestful. People are very upset. They're throwing cans of tuna. Very sad for tuna. Next. Finally, will you accept the outcome of the election if you don't win? I will, absolutely. Definitely. Sir, we can't hear... Oh, he knows. How did we get our hands on that debate prep? Uh, and finally, right before the debate, Joe Biden just picked up a big endorsement from Dwayne Johnson. Check it out. I do feel that Vice President Biden and Senator Harris are the best choice to lead our country, and I am endorsing them to become president and vice president 
of our United States. Yeah. Biden said, thanks for endorsing me. Then Dwayne said, just return the favor in 2024. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump was disappointed. He was like, how could you not pick me? People are always saying I'm as smart as a rock. <laughs> Hang on, can we see Dwayne again? The guy's jacked. If you check the tag on that shirt, the size actually says statue.